In this part of the lesson, we're going to look at how to add an else clause to an if statement. This allows us to perform one set of instructions when the if statement returns true, and a different set of instructions when it returns false. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted, and if necessary, click the Enable Content button to allow the existing code in this workbook to run. So what I've done is created, I guess, what is the most addictive game in history. The idea is you can click the play button in cell C2, and that will generate new numbers for cells B2 and D2. And the idea is that whichever player has the highest score is the winner. So assuming that you're not already addicted just to playing the game and seeing who wins, what would be really nice would be to add some extra code that indicates to the user visually which player has won. So what we're going to do is add some code that changes the cell with the higher number to green and the cell with the lower number to red. And appreciate that red and green might not be the best choices if you're, if you're not capable of uh, distinguishing between those two colours, so please feel free to replace red and green with any two colours that, uh, that you like. So what we'll do is head into the Visual Basic Editor from the Developer tab. We can see the code already that generates the random numbers in the relevant cells using the randBetween function. Feel free to adjust these numbers as well. If you don't want to go between 1 and 100, you can reduce those to get a smaller numeric range. What we'll do is add an if statement that checks which player has won and then change the colours of the cells accordingly. Let's start by writing an if statement which checks if the value of range B2 is greater than that of cell D2. So range B2.value greater than range D2.value. We must add the then keyword to the end of the statement. And then let's give ourselves a couple of blank lines and then use the tab key to indent one space. If that condition returns true, I want to change the interior colour of range B2 to, let's say, green, as they're the winner. And again, remember, you don't need to use green for this. You can feel free to replace green with any colour of your choice. And then equally, let's change the interior colour of range D2. And in this case, I'm going to use red. But again, feel free to pick any other colour you like. So equals RGB red. As it's a block if, we need to write our end if statement. And there's the basic idea that, uh, that determines whether or not player one has won. So let's just go and give that a quick test. If I rearrange my screen so I can see both Excel and the Visual Basic Editor at the same time, if I click my play button now until player one has a bigger number than player two, and it happened immediately, great, there we go. There's our basic code working. So we can clearly see when player one is the winner, but currently we don't have any code that checks when player two is the winner. So if player two has a bigger number than player one, the cells just remain in this grey colour. So let's return to the VB editor and let's add some more code that will change the colours to the opposite way round if this condition is not true. To do that, we can add an else clause to our if statement. So between if and end if, we can add the else keyword. Now, conventionally, you'd add else all to itself on its own separate line and then hit enter a couple of times and then indent one space. Rather than write out these two statements again, I'm simply going to cheat and copy and paste them and then alter the colours so that B2 is the one that becomes red and D2 is the one which becomes green. So at this point now we can indicate whether player 1 has won uh, and when, whether player 2 has won. As it stands, actually, player two has an ever so slightly greater chance of winning or being indicated as the winner. This if statement checks if B2 is greater than D2. So if the values are the same, and I'm not going to carry on playing my game until I get uh, a draw, as the, the range of numbers is quite large, but when these numbers are the same, because cell B2 would not be greater than D2, then it indicates that player two is the winner. So feel free to, uh, to test that if you get the, uh, the numbers exactly equal. I'm not going to do this for long, but if you do get the numbers exactly equal, you'll find that player two is the winner. We'll talk about ways to solve that in a later video in this lesson. So at this point, you can either carry on with the extra practice section of this part of the lesson, which asks you to add some extra code to both the if and the else clauses of your block if statement. Alternatively, you can carry on to the next part of the lesson, which explains how to use something called an else if condition. Oh, alternatively, you can just carry on playing the game because it's so much fun.